from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, another active day of weather across the deep south, but once again, Acadiana missing out on the bulk of it. Now, the pattern's going to stay somewhat unsettled over the next couple of days. Uh, won't be raining all day long every day, but still some rain chances in the mix, but it does look like some slightly drier air returns for midweek, so we're going to take a look at it all in just a second. But first, here's the satellite and radar composite, and again, uh, you can see where all the showers and storms are breaking out this afternoon. As expected, we talked about this yesterday. Uh, there was going to be a warm front uh, lifting northward, and really wherever it was going to set up this afternoon is where we were going to see uh, those showers and storms get going as an upper level disturbance also uh, interacts with that frontal boundary. And sure enough, here we go, Sinla on northeast, where now as we dial it in, uh, to power Doppler 3. You can see most of Acadiana relatively quiet. A few passing showers here and there, but that is about it. Bulk of the activity now pretty much north of the viewing area. Very intense cell here uh, in Avoyles Parish. Just passed through the Cottonport area and really moving just to the north of Simsport. I believe this still has a tornado warning ongoing with it, but nonetheless, very heavy rainfall, lightning, gusty winds, and uh, we even saw some imp uh, impressive hail with this particular cell uh, as well. But at least for for us, most of our locations reporting, uh, reporting uh, partly to mostly cloudy conditions, upper 70s to lower 80s across the board. And models doing a good job showing the bulk of the activity again, staying north of us over the next several hours. Still some rain chances in the mix uh, at around, uh, we'll say 30%. Maybe some patchy fog developing a first thing tomorrow morning. Now that boundary may move far enough to the south tomorrow to allow some slightly drier air to move in, but nonetheless, you can see where it kind of sets up late tomorrow afternoon. That could help to generate a few uh, passing showers, so rain chances 30 to 40 percent. For our Monday, not everyone gets wet. Otherwise, it stays quite warm. Temperatures pushing well into the mid 80s and then best rain chances by far arriving late tomorrow night. Heading into early Tuesday morning. Could have some hefty storms there first thing Tuesday morning for commute time. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And then finally, some slightly drier air moves in Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. Also, over the next 24 to 36 hours, there's going to be a low end threat uh, that we could see an isolated severe storm or two. So we'll keep an eye on that. Temperatures tonight, again, pretty much settling into the upper 60s to lower 70s. We're in the mid 80s tomorrow afternoon under partly to mostly cloudy skies. Again, with a few of those showers. Uh, developing as well. 68 to 69, your projected low temperature tonight. Again, we may see a few showers out there. Otherwise, mostly cloudy, mild and muggy. And as we start the new week tomorrow, it's going to be another warm one. 84 for the projected high under again, partly to mostly cloudy skies. We'll say a few scattered showers and storms developing. Not everyone gets wet, uh, but still we're going to hold rain chances at around 30% rain chances peaking tomorrow night early Tuesday morning. So again, get ready for uh, a rough commute there first thing on Tuesday. Otherwise, looks like we dry out Tuesday afternoon a little bit cooler as well with high temperatures in the mid 70s. And then here we go into Wednesday, even cooler, low to mid 70s and we could be down into the midnight.